W-E-A-F, New York. of Avalon cigarettes, please. Yes, sir. Oh, just a moment, sir. Don't forget your change. You'd never guess, but Avalon's cost you less. So why not always travel on with Avalon? Good evening, friends. Good evening. This is Del King saying welcome to Avalon Time with Kurt Massey, Edna Stilwell, Jeanette, the Avalon Chorus, Bob Strong and his orchestra, and radio's red-headed ragamuffin, Richard Red Skelton. Gentlemen, if you want every penny you spend for your cigarettes to bring full value, then switch to Avalon, cigarettes that give you more for your money. Yes, the outstanding cigarette value on the market today. Avalons are highest quality, but cost three to five cents less per pack than other popular price brands. And bear this in mind, that saving of three to five cents means a reduction of as much as one-third of your total cigarette expense. And that amounts to many, many dollars every year. Now, don't think you're sacrificing quality to gain Avalon's money-saving economy. Absolutely not. Avalon's are union-made of a matchless blend of the world's finest Turkish and domestic tobaccos. In fact, you couldn't get finer quality tobaccos in any other cigarette, regardless of price, regardless of brand. When any cigarette offers such definite advantages, it certainly deserves a trial. So the next time, try Avalon, the modern cigarette, priced to fit the times. And now for some news. We present our Carrot Top commentator with his headline hokum. Here he is, that naughty, nicey, nutsy, nosy news hawk, Red Skelton. Thank you very much and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And now for the news. Gup Hollow, Kansas, a small town dog catcher after five year term in office, loses his job. <laughs> Nothing left for the guy to do. He finally caught the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago, Illinois. This week in Chicago is courtesy week. In other words, automobiles are not allowed to hit more than three pedestrians in one safety zone. <laughs> so you think it's not tough on the pedestrians nowadays? No kidding. The only chance a pedestrian has nowadays is to be able to jump three ways at the same time. <laughs> the fashion news from Paris, France. Bustles will be worn this fall. <laughs> See, my girl will be right in style. <laughs> And she ain't trying, either. <laughs> the world in sports. The National League pennant will go to the team that's good for the long pull. In the American League, long pulls don't count. Just the Yanks. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was ladies' day over at the ballpark. All the ladies got in for nothing. I took Edna Stilwell over there, and it was funny. So many people mistook us for sisters. <laughs> 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 News from coast to coast Scully, College Scully College students and uh, high school students Prepare to go back to school See, good old college I wonder what the kids will learn to eat this year <laughs> oh, I love school though Five of the happiest years of my life I spent in the fourth grade <laughs> But after five years in the fourth grade They finally put me in the third <laughs> 
News from the fields of medicine. A man frozen in ice for five days is revived, and he says that he feels no ill effects. <laughs> My uncle says they should do something for the guys who stayed boiled that long. <laughs> You know, if they carry this freezing cure too far, all the doctors will go out of business. No kidding. If somebody gets a bum liver, all they do is open up the icebox and say to the eggs and meat, move over. <laughs> well, I think that's enough news for tonight. So I'll scram out of here and let Jeanette sing My Heart Has Wings. Sing it, pretty Jeanette, but pretty. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to our slice of life. Things that happen in everyday life that you do and that I do, in fact, all of us do. You, you set the scene, will you, Del? Right, Red. Well, as the scene opens, a young couple is found riding along the highway in an automobile. It's a beautiful night. Edna Stilwell plays the part of the romantic young girl, and Red Skelton plays the part of the handsome young man. Handsome. <laughs> it's a very dark night, folks. Listen. <laughs> Hey, can't this car go any faster? It can, but I ain't gonna get out and push it. <laughs> Say, isn't it a beautiful night? Shall we pause and look at the moon? We'll look at the moon, but you keep your paws to yourself. <laughs> See, isn't it romantic driving along the road? Here we are, all alone, just you and me and the good humor men. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh, I think we're out of gas. Now, don't give me that stuff. Uh, why, ain't you got no money? <laughs> oh, it seems to be all right now. There for a minute, I thought we were going to have to do a little siphon work. <laughs> What's that down the road? I don't know, it looks like a couple of hitchhikers. Shall we pick them up, or shall we just whiz by and let them swear at us? I don't know, it's awful dangerous picking up strangers. Yeah? And besides, I don't think they're hitchhikers. Why? Look, it's a dark night and they aren't wearing neon thumbs. Yeah. Well, maybe they're just beginners. I feel sort of sorry for them. Let's pick them up, huh? I gotta get that sound man fixed. Uh, those... <laughs> Say, you want to ride, fellas? Yeah, I'll try to get in there in the back seat there. Right. Gee, make yourself at home. Thank you. Thanks. Gee, I hope it's comfortable back there for you. I wish you hadn't picked those guys up. Whoa. They look bad. And did you see the bulge that big one has under his arm? Yeah, I bet he buys his clothes the same place I do. <laughs> well, what can you expect for box tops? <laughs> Listen, don't worry. Just switch on the radio there. Warmed up fast tonight. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Two prisoners escaped 
tonight from the state penitentiary. They were last seen on Highway 41. That is all. Did you hear that? Yeah. Two escaped convicts on Highway 41. Yeah. What highway is this? It ain't the road to Mandalay. <laughs> I'll bet they're the convicts. Uh -oh. Look in the mirror and see what they're doing. Oh, they're feeling around in their pockets. They're looking for the gun. Yeah. Gee, in a minute, you may be dead. Yeah. I mean, all together. Yeah. Look, one of them reaching out his hand. Yeah. Say, buddy, have you got a match? Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, yeah. Yeah, here's a cigarette lighter. Just keep it. I got plenty more. You got a cigarette? Yeah, why don't you just move in? Here's a whole pack. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have a carton. <laughs> well, uh, as I was saying, Bill, before we picked up this ride, the best killings are done scientifically. Uh -oh. Now, this afternoon, I killed 11 of them, and there wasn't <gasps> a sound out of any of them. <sighs> Stop sticking out your tongue. That's not my tongue, that's my heart. <laughs> Well, don't let them know you're scared. I'm not scared. I'm just scared. I'm scared. I'm going to get scared. Well, if you're not scared, you better call back your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you take a knife like this and then with a quick stab? Oh, sure, sure. It's quicker that way and they don't suffer so much. Yeah, I'll bet it's more fun, too. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, how would you like a big, fat head? I think they're talking about you now. <laughs> yeah, a couple of those Trousseau murderers. <laughs> Boy, this road's getting darker and darker. Oh, look, there's a sign. It says 20 miles to Goslow. Boy, you are scared. 20 miles to Goslow. It says speed limit, 20 miles an hour. Go slow. <laughs> look, and I'll try to talk them into letting you go free, but I want you to know that I love you, and I've only been untrue to you once. You have? Yeah, once I kissed a chorus girl on the forehead. On the forehead? Yeah. She wasn't a chorus girl. <laughs> and besides, I thought you were the one who never looked at another woman. Now look, I dear, now you... look, dear, let's don't fight. I want the last few minutes to be happy ones. Well, farewell, my love. Oh, look, there's hmm? a filling station. Yeah. You pull in there and I'll start yelling for help. Yeah, and the guy will probably run out and start wiping off the windshield. <laughs> Say, Bill, don't you think these people are acting rather funny? Yes. And did you notice the man looks just like Lepke? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tap him on the shoulder and we'll introduce ourselves. Help! 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 Please, help! Hi, help. My, my good man. What's the trouble? Don't try to play innocent. We heard every word you said, brother. And about those 11 people your pal killed. Yeah, those 11 people your pal killed. Why, I didn't kill 11 people. Oh, you don't even count them anymore, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, you're clever criminals, but we heard every word you said. Just a minute. Hold on there, fella. Here's my card. Yeah? Well, I'm Bill Green of the State Animal Husbandry, and I'm here to show the farmers how to butcher their cattle scientifically. Oh, yes. yes. And I'm Parson Smith. Oh, I beg your parson. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> well, gee, did you hear that, Edna? There are a couple of... Oh. Can we do anything to repay you for your kindness? Yes, you can get me a glass of water. My caveman just caved in. <laughs> By way of letting you keep up to date with the latest in scintillating rhythms, Bob Strong and his orchestra present Bob's arrangement of Pavan.
Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear what the learned Chinese philosopher Ti Ching said about Avalon cigarettes? Well, he said, In China, it is written in letters of gold. Confucius say, stitching in time was two in bush. Correction. Bud in hand, bad table manner. Correction. Good thing come in little package. Avalon come in little package. You're never guessing, they cost you less, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, friends, teaching certainly knows what he's talking about. Everyone can save money, and plenty of money, too, by switching to Avalon cigarettes. Avalon's cost three to five cents less per pack than other popular price brands. And let me tell you, you'll be surprised how fast that repeated saving on every pack will turn into important money. Yes, many, many extra dollars. But judging by the quality, you'd never guess Avalon's cost you less. They're union-made from extra choice, extra select Turkish and domestic tobaccos blended to perfection to give you cigarettes that are unsurpassed for real smoking enjoyment. Just think, outstanding quality, exceptionally money-saving economy. Truly, Avalon's are the cigarette buy of today. So the next time, try a pack of Avalon. Here's Kurt Massey and the Avalon Chorus to sing you a very beautiful song of a few years back that's still a great favorite. When it's twilight on the trail. All right, Kurt, we're waiting. When it's twilight on the trail. On the trail. And I jog along. The world is like a dream. And the ripple of a stream. And now we come to the send out skeleton service. If you're in distress and need some help and need it bad, we'll send out skeleton. Here we are in skeleton's office where Edna Stilwell assumes the duties of a secretary. Hello, this is send out skeleton service. The government's project is the WPA. Skeleton's is the WPU. <laughs> What's that, miss? Oh, you're getting married today and you want Mr. Skelton to come over and make your fiance jealous. Ooh. Are you sure you want Mr. Skelton? Oh, I see. Boris Karloff was out. <laughs> okay, he'll be right over. Say, hey, what's this? I gotta go over and make a boyfriend jealous? Yep, and does this make telephone history? Uh, the first time anybody was connected with a the party they called and still got the wrong number. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, now don't go around selling me short as a glamour boy. I've got more oomph than I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, mm, oomph? 
Well, the bride just quarreled with her groom, and you're supposed to make him jealous enough to make him do his part in the wedding ceremony. Oh, another wedding, eh? Oh, I love weddings. Last June, I stood up for my uncle. You know, the one that drinks so much. <laughs> he couldn't quite make it. <laughs> I didn't think any self-respecting love bug would ever bite him. Well, it don't bite him anymore. It just sort of gums him a little. <laughs> You know, you should have seen how red the bride's face was. Well, can you blame her for blushing? Look yeah. what she got. Yeah. That was uh, two months after the wedding before he found out that his blushing bride was a Indian. Oh, <laughs> uh, but romance sure runs in our family. Well, get going, perpetual emotion. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm off to pitch a little woo. <laughs> I guess it's the house, all right. See, the old man must be a chiropodist. The sign says, beware of dogs. I'll just ring the doorbell here. Oh. Well? Uh, I'm the fellow you hear on the radio that uh, goes out and uh, makes somebody jealous. I'm the one you send for. Hmm. Mm. Another boost for television. Yeah. <laughs> well, come in. Um, don't look now, but uh, that man over there... He and my daughter had a little spat. Well, congratulations, a boy or a girl? <laughs> oh, spat! Oh. Yes, he won't go through with the ceremony we'd planned, so I'm afraid you'll have to help us out. Uh, don't worry, I'll make him jealous. <laughs> Say, what do you think uh, his, uh, her boyfriend will do when he sees me and thinks I'm going to marry your daughter? He'll probably come over and wring your hand off. Well, that's what... Huh? Well, here's him. She'll explain everything. Oh, Cynthia... This is the man who's going to make Henry jealous. Yeah, how are you, Toots? Oh, it's alive. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'll make that guy so jealous. Oh, you don't look like it made jealous. Oh, no. I even made my own mother jealous once. <laughs> Your mother? Yeah. She looks at me and gets jealous of other mothers. <laughs> now, if you don't want me, I'll just leave out of here. Well, it's too late for last-minute changes. Mm. My fiancé refuses to go through with the ceremony, so you march with me. Yeah. And when he sees you, he'll get jealous and rush over and insist on marrying me himself. He will? Mm -hmm. Why? I mean, uh... Now, quiet. Get ready while I talk to the bridesmaids. Oh. Now, let's see. I should have something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. I think that was the uh, bridegroom in just blue. <laughs> Don't be silly. That's Henry over there. Oh. oh, isn't he distinguished looking? Yes, he is. What <laughs> makes him so distinguished looking? Probably those horn, horn rimmed circles under his eyes. Uh. Now, shush. You wait here. Say, dressmaker, keep your eye on this uh, specimen. But certainly, sweet Liness. <laughs> well, if it ain't Gypsy Rose Levy. Please. <laughs> Please, in the business addresses, I'm being known as Mrs. George Bernard Schwartz. <laughs> Say, this sure is a screwy setup here, ain't it? Oh, I think you'll make a lovely couple. Yeah, that, dumb, that dame's fat enough to be a couple herself. <laughs> you know, to marry her is on the border of bigamy. I ain't talking, remember, but at the last wedding, because she was so fat, they threw puffed rice. Yeah. <laughs> and you make her dresses... Oh, certainly, and confidentially. It's the first time I'm making a tent with shoulder straps. <laughs> it sure is a funny-looking dress she has on tonight. What is it? That's the genuine scrapes the shins. Oh. <laughs> with accordion pleats with the wheel stitching. With wheel stitching? Ham stitching, I couldn't say. <laughs> oh, I'm all a flutter. I I'll go first, so watch out for my wedding gown now. Uh, are you nervous? Well, uh, uh, who, who? Me? Me? <laughs> no, I should say not. Well, then stop chewing on that cactus plant. <laughs> my last husband got an awful fright. Yeah, you're telling me. I mean, uh... Oh! oh gee, I just stepped on your tail. I mean, veil. <laughs> Clumsy. Come on, now, you better walk with me. Oh, look at Henry. He has his eyes closed. <laughs> he can't bear to see me with some other man. Yeah, look at all those other guys smiling. <laughs> I'll bet they're bachelors. 
Say, Henry don't seem to be paying much attention to us. Don't worry, he will. <laughs> Just wait till we're pronounced man and wife. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now, wait a minute now. <laughs> man and wife, look, I can't, look, I gotta go see a man about a wife. I, I mean, uh, I can't do it. I've got a child and nine small wives. I mean, uh... Father! Listen. If you embarrass my daughter in front of all these people, I'll... All right, okay, okay, but just remember, Say, brother... Say, turn around but... and face the preacher. Okay, but I'll never... Well, are you supposed to be the preacher? Well, I ain't Shirley Temple McPherson. <laughs> Hercules the Parson. I should say so, Mr. Skelton, and am I ready to give your splice for life? <laughs> <laughs> but you can't do it, Herky. I just gotta... Quiet, quiet, Mr. Skelton. The ceremony must go on. <laughs> now, join hands. Now, do you, woman, take this man... I do. Well, well, if you're in such a hurry, I'll go faster. <laughs> and do you, man, take this woman for rich or richer, for better or worse, for sick or sicker, till death takes a holiday? I most certainly well, do Well, here's not. the ring, Mr. Skelton. <laughs> now, look, Herky, I can't do this thing. Say, somebody else... Where's Elmer? <laughs> Don't get excited, Mr. Skelton. I'm not excited. I'm oh. just a little... Well, then, for heaven's sake, stop trying to put the ring in her nose. <laughs> but don't you see, Herky? Oh, I... for goodness sake, keep quiet. I now pronounce you man and wife. Two dollars, please. <laughs> oh, I'm so thrilled. Kiss me. Is that necessary? I mean, uh, is it uh, kiss the Mary to cuss the bride? I mean... <laughs> not quite so soon. And for goodness sake, Mr. Skelton, don't shake so much. But, Herky, I'm married. Me, a married man, and right when I'm in the prime of life, too. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, stop blubbering. Nothing happened. We both were hired as stand-ins at a wedding rehearsal. Oh. <laughs> Well, it looks like we're just about ready to tuck the show away for another week. That's right, Red. Uh, uh, look, I don't want to mention any names, but yeah. do you know that somebody around here actually believes that Marshall Field is a playground? You're kidding. <laughs> but you know, I've often wondered what they use those fields for myself. <laughs> Good night, Red. Well, I don't guess he knows either. Good night, folks. I'll see you all next week. Remember, friends, during the week when you ask for Avalon cigarettes... Don't forget your change. So why not always travel on with Avalon? Yes, you'd never guess, but Avalon's cost only 10 cents plus city or state tax.
Red Skelton is appearing in person with Zazu Pitts and John Bowles at the Chicago Theater now and all next week through Thursday. Be with us next Saturday evening at this same time when the Brown and Williamson Tobacco Corporation will again present Avalon Time. Del King speaking. Good night. Selection Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead, heard in this program, is from The Wizard of Oz. Avalon Time has come to you from our Chicago studio. This is the National Broadcasting Company. W-E-A-F, New York. Not